Hey there, guys. I'm Cody Mayo. This is Spencer. How you doing, Cody? Doing good. And this is Cigar TV. So, Spencer, how are you enjoying this interesting cigar? Well, Cody, I think this is a beyond a special treat, if I do say so. I'm <laughs> pretty excited to, to educate people on this one with you. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Um, so, what this cigar is... Is something very special. It's really hard to come by. Uh, they don't make many boxes of it anymore. And uh, let's just say I did some things and some stuff. Not really, but I did get my hands on a box of them, just to uh, be like, hell yeah, I have one box. I am talking about none other than the Velvet Rat. So, Spencer. The holy what, fucking grill. The holy grill, man. So, Spencer, what can you tell people about the Velvet Rat? Well, they come in the 10 count box, if I'm correct. Yes, right? sir. 10 count box. It's the, I think it's the prize of the league of wine. You know, we're all hooked on the nines and all that. I mean, this one's really, honestly, I don't know if there is a cigar I can say that I've had that I would say is much better. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very nice very limited run, um, as we both thought that they quit completely making it, and they didn't. But there's so it's so short supply. Yeah, I mean this box right here. These cigars actually have one year's worth of age on them from the time that they were manufactured. I can taste that in here, and the tobacco on this. You got a really nice Connecticut broadleaf, like the cream of the crop on the broadleaf. I mean, show them yours. Yours looks so. Oh, yeah. And it's just so beautiful. The veins. Are nice. Right. They rolled the veins. They probably took a metal pipe and rolled the vein out so you get more oils in the wrapper. Mm -hmm. And it really and the helps. Ashes are nice, burning evenly, nice dry draw when we dry draw them. Uh, and so far, it's just so smooth. It really is, Cody. It, it's just phenomenal. I remember, you remember when our. The shop we go to, the owner had a couple samples and he gave us one. Mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. mean, it was kind of like, there's another guy in there, it's a huge Padron smoker, and he smoked it, and he said, this is better. <laughs> <laughs> I said, well, he, and he, the guy said this would bankrupt me, and I see what he's saying. It's so smooth and so rich, yet it doesn't kick you in the ass. It's just the perfect blend of a nice, rich flavor from the Maduro wrapper. And the binder is actually a Brazilian Matafina. It gives it that kind of chewy taste. Mm -hmm. Matafina is a good tobacco, and you're starting to see Brazilian tobacco used more. Yeah. Because there's, uh, you've got several regions of it. They've even got the one, the Amazon, that's that one that grows a couple every couple of years, and it's really strong. Mm -hmm. But I, I, like the, I prefer the Matafina, even over there, Paraca and that. Yeah, the Matafina wrapper is really good. And They used it as a binder on this, which was interesting. And you've got some Nicaraguan and, off the record, supposedly some Mexican filler. I don't know if that's true. It doesn't matter. It's great. It's, Indeed. It's just, uh, you get the best white ass you've ever had. So, with the cigar, like we said, it's very smooth. It's uh, really uh, peppery. Has like some good uh, peppery spice to it, um, hints of like chocolate, and a little bit of a nutty flavor. I would say, yeah, that nutty flavor is definitely. I like that through. nutty flavor is really predominant, and on the the part with the chocolate is kind of like an after note, you know. But you really get that sense of uh, that spice, that peppery spice, like as you're drawing through the cigar. You really do, but it's not overpowering. And no, you know how sometimes it stays in the back of the throat mm -hmm. after, and you're like, you know, it's a great cigar, but I could do without that. You don't get that. Exactly. It's, a, so, it's just a high, high end. It's one hell of a cigar. Um, there's not much really to say about it, to be honest, until you actually try one for yourself. It's kind of hard to explain to people just how good this cigar is. It really is. I mean, it's a special treat. It's so much of a special treat that 
good luck finding it in any stores. Right, exactly. So even online, it's almost impossible to so find. So I it. was really happy when I was able to get myself one whole box. And I tell you what, guys, the best of these cigars in this box is going straight into my personal collection. That's they're gonna sit there for probably years untouched just because of how hard they are to come by and only break them out for special occasions. And Cody, the other thing about these is they do age very well. They do. Some of the other nines people have pitched and complained about said they don't age as well. These age very well. And I think part of it's due their smaller size and look at the way it's rolled. It's not it's firm but it's not so yeah. harsh to where you have to get out a draw poker. I hate doing that. Right. Before I like before I, I dry draw and I can't get anything, there's a fucking tree trunk in it. You don't have that problem. Exactly, exactly. And uh, what would you say the size is on this uh, cigar? Well, Cody, that's difficult because it's really not... I would say it's about a six and a half by maybe 50. It's not a big ring gauge, but for this cigar, it works out. It does work out for it. And uh, the length of it almost is like that of a Churchill length. Yeah, it's pretty close. It's it's pretty close to that. I think they did a really good job on the size. And you know, the Unico series, you got the UF13, some of the others are similar. Mm -hmm. But this particular blend is gives you the same boldness, but it doesn't give you any harshness at all. It's it's flawless. Yeah, absolutely it's flawless. Very smoky too. Oh yeah, very smoky. And as always on most of the wrappers, it's pretty much a plain wrapper with like that uh dotted grid looking like they just was using blueprint paper you know yeah it's, it's but, really uh, kind of nice and it's got the little it's line on the back nice it's and terrific. playing of course with this signature logo right there looks like a griffin to me cody i think that's what it is but i'm not too sure it's a lion a like it's a liger a lion and a tiger a liger yes it's a liger with wings <laughs> <laughs> what's your favorite Thing. If you had to choose one thing about the cigar, what, what, what would it be? Um, I just have to say probably the way that it tastes overall. Because it's just something that you don't experience with a lot of cigars, you know? I would agree. It's like this intense amount of uh, taste behind it. It's not but loaded it's up with Lajero. But it's very mellow. It's not loaded with Lajero. You can taste it. There's some in there, but it's not overloaded for power. It's a flavor cigar. It's for flavor. It's not, you don't smoke this cigar just for power. This cigar is kind of combined some elements of the power with that rich flavor you seek, especially for Maduro cigars, without giving you that harsh throat taste. Exactly. So, yeah. Uh, Aliga Velvet Rat. Um, if y'all can find one. What do they go for? Um, so... I believe they go for 16 probably $20, like a stick. That range, yeah. And that range, to be honest. Um, I didn't pay too much for this box, so that was a good thing. Um, so, yeah. I'm not going to disclose the actual price, but... Yeah, we don't want to do that. that. That is neither here or there. The fact is, is that I was able to uh, get my hands on this cigar and and join them with my friend Spencer here. What else can you ask for? So, I don't know. An unlimited supply of them, maybe? Yeah. Uh, like, maybe like 10,000 of them. That would be nice. That would be nice. Just like keep them in bundles like on my wall. Oh, dude. We, you would, I mean. I would never smoke anything else again. That's, that's the problem with a cigar like this. It's so good. You get, shit, so limited. I wish they could do something to make more of them and not compromise quality. That way they'd be on the shelves. You know, certain retailers, high-end retailers, your average smoke shop that carries cigars is not going to know anything about this. Yeah. This is a very, I mean, you go to dealers that have all the other Legos, you still don't see these usually. Most of the time you don't, so it's... It's much rarer than the, the pig, too. I, I can find the pig, no problem. That, that's not one that's hard to find. Um, so, yeah. This one right here is well worth the money. If you can find one to try it, I would. Absolutely. Um, but, yeah, not much more you can really say about this cigar. Look at that ash, too. I mean, it's nice white ash. It's uh, 
and Mata it's Fina holding together. Binder, you could kind of really that Mata Fina gives you a little bit of spice, but it doesn't overload the back end like if they used an Air Paraca. That's going to overload the spice profile with the, with the broth leaves. Right, right, and it, and the uh, ashes they're holding together nice and good. They are. You know? I, I wish the cigar would last for the rest of the day. Me too. Me too. Well, yeah. Uh, so that's it for this review today. One more um, thing, what would you give it on a scale of 1 to 10? Uh, this one's easily a 10. I, I would agree. Smokiness, it's what do you Easily a 10. Uh, so smokiness, it's, it's really smoky, but at the same time, it's not overly smoky. So no, I'd not. have to put the smoky lever at kind of like a 7 to 8 range, you know? I would say that's right. Yeah. I agree with you. So, on the smokiness, it's not too high, but on the flavor, it is 10 out of 10. Um, I mean, Cody, yeah. we're looking at Drew State really, I mean, it's about as close to perfection for what I like to smoke as I can think of. I mean, it may not be for everybody, but those of you who like or familiar with the Ligas and like the Drew State product, I mean, I don't think there's a better cigar they make. Exactly. So, yeah. Velvet Rat. Um, so, guys, that's all we got for you today. Um, if you have not already and would like to learn more about cigars, tips, tricks, all that fun jazz, please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can stay updated on all my latest videos. Um, leave a comment down in the comment section below suggesting future topics for cigar brands tips and tricks, or if you want to just ask me about something, go ahead and ask down in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you in a timely fashion. Um, other than that, uh, stay safe out there guys, stay smoky.